Hey you all, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into your Sun, Moon and as well rising sign for the week 18th of January up until the 24th of January 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading you can go to my website which link you are going to find into the description down below there at the very front page you are going to see the full list of my services as well their prices and depending on your budget and uh, your needs you can purchase whatever service suits you best. Upon purchase within 24 hours I'm going to contact you via email so make sure you do check your spam and junk folder as well because sometimes the email provider likes to throw my messages in those folders. And also if you are interested in Tarot, you want to learn to read Tarot I'm offering as well tarot classes in case you want to check them out. Uh, they are under the tarot classes section. So with that being said, guys, um, I hope you do enjoy the show. All right. So this is to be Pisces, Sun, Moon and as well Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. And uh, oh my God, just hold on a second. And we're going to uh, jump right into it. Alright, so the first card that we do have for you, Pisces, that is to be the uh, Judgment followed by uh, the Moon card. Moving next, we do have the Ten of a Wand afterwards, that is to be the uh, Four of Swords. And the last one uh, that is defining your week. This is how the week ends for you and it's a fantastic ending here with the Ace of a, uh, with the Ace of a Pentacles. Wow, all right. So right off the back, at the start of the week, guys, with the judgment, this is the uh, the wake-up call that you may have been waited for for so long time. And that wake-up wake call, it could refer to literally anything into your life. One morning, you can be called from the company you, you want to work for, for example. One morning, uh, or at Monday morning, you may wake up and realize that you love somebody or, or in general it could be some kind of a circumstances that kind of makes a lot of sense and they give you direction in life now the um the judgment it is when uh you know something substantial kind of like takes place and gives you a certain direction or help pregnancy it could be also the wake-up call you know you're wondering um should i um make a family with that person or not and you find out that your uh, girlfriend is pregnant from you or you are pregnant from your boyfriend and that is your wake-up call that you have to give it a go right uh, also when, when judgment takes place um, it kind of like everything that you may find without any resolution uh, it kind of like finds its res resolution at that particular point you know whatever you're struggling with and you don't know how you're gonna for example pay your mortgage or um, in generally you know find yourself a job and etc etc it's kind of like the resolution falls with that car I mean you're gonna know what the answer is you're gonna know what you gotta do and you just have to put this wake-up call or manifest this wake-up call through a uh, through a action take it away it's like you are um, considering two options available, even maybe three options available, that none of them is actually uh, fully suiting you best. And suddenly at Monday morning or evening on Tuesday morning, uh, a new option available comes about that it makes most sense, it makes perfect sense with the situation that you are in. So take it like with the judgment, the, the way I like to say it is when the, the hub falls within the shaft perfectly and uh, pretty much the full picture becomes obvious. It, it's just your pieces of the puzzle of your life, they just snap together. And uh, right after that, um, I'm paying attention to my watch. So I, to the camera, the camera is changing um, it's uh, it's regimes and I don't know why I have to investigate afterwards but I kind of like try to pay attention if it change regime or not because Aquarius video it's 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 screwed up 
by by visual i mean other other than that the reading is just fine uh but um right after that we do have the moon card and um th this card refers to from the start up until the middle of the week and uh, that card refers to few things now the, the first thing that it will be the most poignant one all right the most i can't say negative but rather unpleasant that is the withhold of an information by, by the universe that is. So you do take your option available here with the judgment you know that makes most sense for you. Uh, and right after that, you do not see immediate results. It is just you don't see any circumstances, you don't see any changes. And that makes you think, have I not made the wrong choice? No, you haven't. The moon shrouds uh, in obscurity any results and any circumstances because if you do know them or if you do see them, you will have the ability to change the course and you're not supposed to do that. The moon card, it's, it's pretty much a sign or rather like it is the point where you already have taken a direction here, as you can see, the path that it is going um, through the towers, okay? That path, it is the path that you have set yourself on with the Judgment card and goes beyond the summit here. It goes beyond the mountain. So you don't know where it goes. Nobody knows, neither me nor a psychic, nobody knows. Uh, but it is a path you have to walk on. And that's why you may feel from the mid, to, from the start to the middle of the week, certain uncertainties and insecurities like i said oh my god have i not made the wrong choice here or why things are not developing i did everything i could and yes you did you just have to be patient you just have to give it time um people who are very emotional who allow their fantasy to run wild they are in a most um, vulnerable state by the energies of this card. I mean, they can start believing to the doom and gloom, they may end into a, a depression and so on and so forth. But yeah, I mean, the moon card, it, it kind of like is a mark where you have set your course and it's a place where you definitely have to be. If you are single, this card here is a sign that through the circumstances you chose, you set yourself a course that you are going to end up with a person you are supposed to be, okay? Same thing comes about a job. So it all falls to that. How, impo how, how seriously you are going to address that wake-up call, whichever, whichever form it takes for you, uh, Pisces at the start of this uh, of this week and you are to act upon it and right after these uh, senses of insecurities uh, for a day or two that is they are not going to take more than that uh, we do have um, and a, a very agitated state and agitated in both ways you know you may be negatively agitated or positively agitated about what is going on Right after that, into the middle of the week, we do have the Ten of Wands. And this is where the true circumstances now reveals because they have been cooked themselves enough to be now sustainable and to be now uh, established. And you do realize how much you do have to do, how much you do have to accomplish, that whatever you set for yourself as a, in motion is no joke by any means. And you have to address it with a full seriousness that you are um, that you are capable of. Here it is like, you know, starting a chain of events that you cannot draw yourself from, starting a chain of responsibilities that you cannot simply wave your hand and say, I'm done, you know, I am up until now, I, I'm, I, I'm up until this point and I'm not going to move any, uh, any further. No, this is a, a very demanding, how can I say, routine and, 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 and um, and a following, I don't know what, which word should I use here. Uh, Ten of Wands promises you many results, and I say many because there are truly many, many, many rewards at the end. Uh, problem is that you may not have the physical capability to reach every single one of them, or it promises you a lot of influence, huge influence, an influence that you may not be ready to, um, to, uh, to experience. 
you know, all these uh, big stars that at the end of the day, they are in a, like I said, depression, that they are um, very miserable in their life. That is because they cannot handle the publicity. They, they cannot handle the fruits of their labor. And into the, uh, into the middle of the week, this is the direction that you are striving for. I'm not saying that you ain't going to handle it, but you are now forewarned that you are going to go, uh, that you are starting a path that it will be very demanding, but also is going to produce an, an amazing results at the end. You choose, do you want to walk it or not? But you have already made that decision at the start of the week, or you are to make that decision at the start of the week. So 10 of ones here points that yes, it will be overwhelming. It, it, you, it will feel a burden at certain points, but it is your thing to push through. It is your responsibility. It is your uh, your how can I say, your drive to strive for power, to strive for being lucrative, successful, loved, family. So if that's about forming a family, it will be a demanding family. I mean, you, you cannot simply be there just for, the, just for having a warm dinner and a place to stay, you know, uh, and uh, consume your marriage time to time. No, you will need to be extremely devoted to that family, dealing with all the responsibilities that are addressed to you, in the family itself. So it's not going to be a joke. This is what the card says. The realization that whatever you set for yourself as a motion, it's no joke at all. I mean, it's very serious. It, it, it's uh, one of the most demanding things that are ever happened to you. And uh, right after that, we do have the Four of Swords. And uh, this is where you kind of like shake off uh, the uh, initial stunning moments, realizing, oh my God, isn't that way too big piece of me to chew up and swallow down. And here it is where actually you do start thinking about it. You know, what kind of a problems may appear? Consulting yourself with professional help. If it is about business, this is about finding manager. This is about finding business advisor. If it is about love, this is a, about talking very profoundly and deeply with the person that you are in love with and that they are in love with you, you know, talking about the future of the relationship, you know, what kind of a problems may appear, how you are to deal with that problems at that particular point. And in generally, this card here points that uh, you are going to start resolving the issues before the issues actually have a chance to, to escalate and, and have a chance to severely damage whatever, you know, uh, environment you set yourself up into and whatever relationship or job you are about to start or starting to develop. And here, the last card, it's finally where the preparation is done here with the Ace of Pentacles. At the end of the week, it is the foresight that this choice you made at the start of the week was the choice you needed in order to further your life, to make your um, re relationship or intimate life harmonious, to make your business successful, or to cash in on certain skills you have, you know, and make it make them a, a lucrative investment that you made back in the days, back in the past. But also the Ace of Pentacles points that you will need to exert a big devotion into it, right? It's just, it's not going to happen, but you're thinking that, you know, you, you are going to incorporate two hours of your week into it, say a business, and it's going to blast. It's not going to happen that way. Ace of Pentacles, in order to develop it, slowly develop card in order to make that um, goal lucrative of yours, say it's a business goal or this relationship really, really harmonious, it needs a tendency every single day, every single hour. It is like growing a plant. You cannot leave it for two months expecting that it's going to grow on its own. No, it needs its supplements, it needs its soil, it needs its water. First one said very minute. It needs its water, all right? It needs Hair, and that's what you got to do. That is, uh, at the end of the week, realizing, and not just only realizing, but setting in motion that, uh, that routine. And it's going to work out beautifully for you guys in the future. At the, at the start of the week, at the end of the week, I'm sorry, is when it starts. When it ends, you decide. And one last thing about the Ace of Pentacles, it is that um, whatever you decide to develop, and, you know, may that be love or may that be career, it's protected. Okay, that is shown into the symbols here. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, for the uh, upcoming week. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we shall see each other next time.
Until then, bye.